There's a myth that shorter flights are safer than long haul. The truth? It's actually the other way around. Safety in aviation isn't about hours in the sky. It's about flight cycles. Each takeoff and landing is when aircraft face the highest workload, weather variables and risk factors. Statistically, that's where incidents are most likely, not during crews. That's why long-haul flights with one takeoff and one landing spread across 10 or 12 hours actually rack up lower risk per flight hour. Fewer cycles mean fewer exposures to those critical phases. Short hops, think commuter jets or island connections, rack up multiple cycles a day. More cycles equals more exposure to the risk phases, even if the flights themselves are only 40 minutes long. Hour for hour, they face higher statistical accident rates. This doesn't mean short flights are unsafe. Aviation as a whole is extraordinarily safe. But the data is clear. Long-haul jets cruising over oceans face fewer risk windows than a regional aircraft making six legs in a day. So here's the debate. Does this make you feel better about that ultra-long-haul flight, or do you still trust the quick hop more?